Eric Mwadid, mother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Ripple. And this is based on the hourly chart. Now, usually I'll talk about the RSI, but today I want to talk about the MACD. And in particular, you can see we've had a huge fall off here in Ripple. But now over the last day or so, we've seen a recovery. So I want to talk about the MACD and how we could have used the MACD to time this entry somewhere here. And that was when it was trading under a dollar or about a, just below 1.1 or 110. Now to understand this, I have a series on MACD and you'll find a link in the description of the video where I discuss this in detail for those who are interested in learning more about this. So the first thing I would like to mention is you can see there was a period here where the MACD was trying to move above zero and was rejected. So that zero line is somewhere here. You can see that the instrument never really moves the MACD back above the zero line, which is this period here, which corresponds with this price action before prices collapse. So the rejection at the MACD zero line was a tell of where momentum was pointing. Now, if you want to use crossovers, that can be a problem because crossovers below zero are not as effective. Because if you bought this crossover of the MACD here, it gives you this price entry somewhere here. But you can see that was not a strong buy signal because after a couple hours to the upside, we roll over and make fresh lows. In fact, the best thing to do is to wait for the market itself to show some improvement in terms of the technical strength. And here we can see good evidence of this. We come back and test the lows. So these were the intraday lows. Market comes back to test it. While it is making a new test and cracking to fresh intraday lows, Take a look at the MACD. We see an improvement of the MACD. That is the market showing us stability and improvement of the technical picture. So that's one positive at that point. You can take that and add that as a positive. Now, the major tell that the market is due to start moving higher after this move that had taken it lower. So after this move, the major tell is you see this hump here this high now this high comes after a crossover in other words we cross over here we try to move higher but the MACD is rejected here so what you do you watch that level should the MACD come and move above the previous stalling point which is this stalling point here once the MACD moves above that level, then that should be telegraphing that momentum is now back in the name. And we can see that this is true because we also move above daily closing highs on a short term basis. So this MACD movement corresponds with this price movement and also happens to correspond with a trend line break right here. Now this trend line break connects the closing highs on a daily basis here, here and here. In fact I can do it a little bit better. Should be something like that. And that also is another visual indication that there was a change in the momentum. So that entry there corresponding with the MACD moving above the previous stall point that was the cue that something was going to be pushing this from the down, downward spiral and changing momentum. And also, always whenever we see the MACD move above zero, you can expect that to suggest that momentum is back in the name. And of course, since those price highs or price levels, we can see that we are still trying to improve after recording these lows. So the main takeaway is, and again, all this is explained in my YouTube series. 
there should be a link in the description of the video so the main takeaway is you test the lows you improve on the MACD MACD clears a recent stumble point which is here so that using the MACD was the tell that that was the entry right there now this is the chart for ripple you could have used any of the cryptocurrencies pretty much all of them were similar at that point in fact let's take a look at bitcoins hourly chart and you can see here we go to fresh intraday lows MACD is stabilized so that by itself is positive divergence we come and clear the previous hump on a short-term basis we clear that level on the MACD which is this price and this MACD movement corresponding with the price movement right there so using our MACD understanding of the MACD this was the logical entry level and of course since then we've seen this start to improve in price after a significant drop in Bitcoin which had moved it from about 14,500 to the lows here of about 9,200 so using the MACD where we see an improvement of the MACD as prices attack fresh lows that positive divergence is initial sign that something might be changing and then also when you clear the previous short-term MACD highs that is a sign that yes this momentum is due for a reversal Eric Mwadet, Mwadet com. as always good luck peace and blessings E-A-C-S Woo!